What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. And this one, well, let's start off with what we did in the last video. In the last video, we ended up coming to Boulder City where we ended up uh, solving a whole stand-down situation between the NCR and these guys right here, which is the Great Cons. Um, we got that whole situation taken care of now, and we have information that's going to lead us uh, straight to Benny. Uh, because Jessup, the, I guess you could say the somewhat leader of this immediate group of Great Cons, um, or the highest ranking, if you will, or the named NPC, I don't know what you want to call it. He ended up telling us that uh, Benny is at the uh, at one of the Las Ve or New Vegas casinos, so we're definitely going to make our way over there in this video. If you are excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get going on to New Vegas. All right, let's go ahead and hop up out of here. Because we, I think, hold on, once we get outside, I want to check hey. the map, uh, world map, uh, how far is it? Uh, it's actually kind of far. We could always go to Repcon headquarters. No, we could always just fast travel to the 188, which we will do. And then we'll just follow the road north from there, pretty much. Um, let me see, is this the way? Yeah, if we follow this road... We'll eventually end up in New Vegas. So hopefully there isn't anything too dangerous on the way there. Oh, actually, you can actually see New Vegas from here. I kind of want to stick to the road, though. Just to be safe, you know? There's a lot of bad things around here. Another good thing, too, is... uh. We're pretty close to being able to finally getting our own place. I mean, technically, there's that place in Novak, but... Novak, the place in Novak, it's not very spectacular. It's literally just there so you can have a temporary player home, you know? I do like Novak, but the player home inside New Vegas, in the uh, Lucky 38 or whatever it is, it's pretty amazing. Is that Camp Golf? I think that's Camp Golf. I could be wrong though. Alright. It should be a straight shot from here, it looks like. Well, kind of. We're gonna have to go around a little bit, but I think we're pretty much golden from here. We're definitely going into uh, uncharted territory for sure. I don't see anything though. There's we haven't had any opposition so far, so that's pretty amazing. Who's this guy? Oh, it's just a prospector. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue on. I hear things, but can't really see anything. Van Graff, Silver Rush, we sell weapons, fully charged with no extra something. I didn't get to read it because it got cut off a little bit. Oh, fuck. Um. Uh. You know what? We'll stick with the pistol. Oh, no. Let's switch weapons. I mean... I don't know why it's... Need a medic. I might have killed it's not... It's not shooting. It might... I don't really know what was going on right there for a second. I might be screwed. Alright, let's switch weapons because this is not working out for me. Alright, come on, baby. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. There we go. At least it's finally shooting. Come on, Boone. I need you to wake up, buddy. Alright. 
Let's uh, see if we can blast them in the head a couple times. All right, we got them once, so that's good. It's kind of funny how we're getting uh, infamy, even though they attack me first. Die! All right, let's go ahead and try to get some headshots. I mean, I got a headshot, but it didn't really do that much damage. There we go. Boone, wake your ass up, bro. He's literally... He's sleeping on the job. Why do I even have him here? I don't know if I can handle someone who sleeps on the job, Boone. You led me... Or you made me literally... He's still sleeping. Wake your ass up, Boone. I'll take that frag grenade, though. And that... There we go. It's about time. You disappointed me, do, uh, Boone. I expected better from you. Alright. So much for uh, that Legion raiding party. I should probably heal, but... I'm gonna try to avoid it as long as possible. Probably a stupid move. But... If everything goes according to plan, I should be able to just sleep at the Lucky 38. Hello. Hey. Welcome to the Grub and Go. Uh, what is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Oh, that's cool. Um, uh, let me ask you some questions. Sure, fire away. Uh, is there a place to buy weapons and armor? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. I've heard the same. Where can I find a doctor around here? Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. Cool. I don't have any more questions. All right. Th Let's see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Anything else I can do for you? And what do you mean anything else? I haven't even... Oh, that's why. Because you don't have shit for sale. You suck. See Later, Fitz. What about you? Lupe. You need water? I got water. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. Um, I beg to differ. Uh, where do you get your water? She just said it, but let's ask. The NCR fixed up the pipe network pretty good, and water merchants like me are allowed to have some of it to sell. If we have a water license, of course. Still, it beats the inconvenience of having to trek all the way to the lake to resupply. Um, are there many merchants uh, around here? There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. Uh, I have some general questions for you. Shoot. Anything I should know about New Vegas? They won't just let anybody into the Strip, but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just, um, keep a close eye on your caps. Uh, what do you know about the NCR? Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. Uh, tell me about the fiends. They're a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Apparently, they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. The army should really get in there and wipe them all out. But I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. Uh, well, that's it. All right. Let's see what you got for sale. Glad to do it. You suck too. Later. Um, alright. Ooh, I like that po that poster. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, uh, so that's Camp McCarran? Right? Let's see. Um, no, Camp McCarran seems to be over there. All right, uh, yeah, let's go in that direction. Maybe we'll find Camp McCarran followed by New Vegas. It looks like it's in that direction anyway, so I don't think it should be that big of a deal. Um, but I suppose we'll find out here shortly, won't we? We're definitely going into the city, which the surrounding portions of uh, New Vegas can be pretty bad. So we'll see how that turns out. Oh, this is the monorail. That's actually pretty cool. I never noticed that before. 
Let's see here. It's getting nerve-wracking, dude. There could literally be fiends around any corner. But I promise you, no one will take me out. Well, maybe to dinner, but that's about it. Um. So where's Captain Karen? It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Oh god, some of the noises in this game are creepy as hell. I kind of want to just discover it since it's literally right here. There we go. Oh, it's an MCR place. Alright, what is this? Camp McCarran. Oh, dude, this is Camp McCarran. Let's, uh, at bare minimum, discover Camp McCarran. Because I really do want to get into New Vegas, like, right now. That's my that's my goal for, for this video, is to get my own place. What do you have for sale? What's up? The NCR appreciates good citizens like you. This guy looks badass. Alright, where the hell is Camera Karen? Should literally be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. They got guards right in front of it. Oh, that's why it's missing a letter between A and R, Camp McCarran Field. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, we found that. Now that we found Camp McCarran, I want to go find... Let's go around this way. I'm not sure which way it is to get into... Uh, here, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go this way. I feel like this is the wrong way, but... I don't know. We'll find out shortly. Oh, look, there's another NCR guy way over there. See, Cat McCarran seems pretty adeptly uh, fortified. Yeah, I think I should have went the other way, damn it. Oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's badass. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I really wish Sunset Sarsaparilla was in other Fallout games. Like, I wish they put it into Fallout 4, for example, since this is the first game that introduced. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla, unless I miss something in Fallout 3 or some of the older ones like Fallout 1, 2, Brotherhood of Steel, whatever. Um, I want to say Sunset Sarsaparilla was introduced in this game. And I kind of wish Bethesda uh, went along with it, man. Instead of just Nuka-Cola. Nuka-Cola is fantastic, don't get me wrong. But having that little rivalry between uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla and, uh, and uh, Nuka-Cola... That would have been something cool, man. Maybe in a future Fallout game, maybe they can do like this, uh, like a quest where the rivalry was a little bit bigger than, say, just like, hey, buy my product, Th their product is not as good as our product type situation, you know? And maybe have it like where they were actually beefing it, kind of like Robco and, uh, and, uh, he, uh, what is it called? The, uh, electronics place? That would be pretty cool. Because I know Robco did like a hostile takeover of one of the places uh, here. Is that, what is that? Oh, we found a fan, a fan, a fiend. It's all good though. Oh, hello. Maybe I should take a stim pack now. Cool. Oh, and it gave me, uh, karma. Positive karma, I should say. What did this guy have? Electronic charge, laser, ECW. Is this considered a laser weapon? I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave it here for now. Or an energy weapon. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there because I'm pretty... Oh, there we go. H&H &H tools. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that laser. I want to say it is an energy weapon. But it's not. I don't know. I can always come back and pick one up from Fiends later on. Right now, though, I kind of can't really pick it up because I'm already encumbered as hell. So for now, I am 
Just gonna leave it like that for now. Hopefully we can find better ones later. Free side. That looks freaking cool, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute. Yeah, I thought I thought you could go in here. Well, I think I found the entrance to Freeside. Before I go into Freeside, though, there is one thing I want to discover. Prior to going into Freeside. And, uh, potentially, I'll probably potentially shop there really fast. Freeside Thorn. Personal Kings. space meaning anything to you guys? Shut up, bro. Oh, it's the Crimson Caravan, too. Awesome. Alright. I'm discovering all kinds of things, aren't I? Alright, the place that I'm looking for is just right around the corner. Oh, and I leveled up too, it looks like. Alright, level 9. Um, let me see. Energy weapons 96. Let's go ahead and max that out. Might as well. And we'll go with... Um, I guess we'll put it the speech for now. Let's see what it... Oh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, yeah, I think uh, at level 10, it gives me another perk, huh? Alright, let's see here. Who's this guy? I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Uh, so you work for the gun runners? For around five years now, I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Oh, cool. Uh, who are the gunrunners, anyways? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Cool. Any chance I could get a tour of the fuck uh, of the gunrunners factory? None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Oh, okay. Uh, who's in charge of the gun runners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Damn, looks like they got it made. All right, later. Later. Let's uh, talk to the kiosk then. See what he's got for sale. This guy has a bunch Hello. of cool stuff. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Maybe. Uh, what is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. Uh, that's some impressive weaponry. Where did you? Uh, where did it all come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. Uh, how did you get inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. That's pretty smart, actually. All right, uh, what do you have for sale? I am ready to process our transaction. Huh, let's see what this guy has. Hmm, I only have 300 caps, so not much to work with here. Um... Nothing spectacular, man. Uh, yeah, I mean... Combat armor. Reinforced combat. Damn, that shit is expensive. I can't even afford just the hel helmet. Damn, dude. Reinforced Mark II. That's gotta be the strongest, right? type of combat armor, maybe? I don't know. Uh, laser RCW. Uh, I think I'm plasma caster. I've always liked the recon armor, man, to be honest. But, never really use it. Service rifle, springs, two-step goodbye. Yeah. Sorry, bro, but you have nothing today. Maybe next time I come by around, uh, maybe you'll have some better equipment for me. 
for now, let's go ahead and go inside Freeside. Because that's technically the way to get into uh, New Vegas. I, you know, the more that I think about it, I don't know I'm going to have enough time in this video to be able to get into New Vegas. Alright, let's see. What do we got going on here? Um... Did someone? Whoa! You're mine. You really think you can do something, bro? Gunskis, dude exploded. My god. I destroyed his soul. He no longer exists. Wasteland Surgeon? Cool. Alright. Well, looks like the looks like Freeside is a wild, wild west looking place. Alrighty. Maybe we should talk to... Maybe we should talk to the kings. Come to Mick and Ralph. Um, yeah, let's go... Let's go this way. The kings. That looks fucking cool, dude. Hey. Hi. Um Hey sir. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Kind of. Uh who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? <laughs> In Freeside the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Uh yeah. I'd like to see if the king I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Uh, fuck, dude. I just missed that. Here's 50 caps. You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look. It's a dog. Hello, king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Uh, I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what. You do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Uh... What do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? As a matter of fact, I didn't. I must have missed them. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well-earned. Usually well-earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Cool. Uh, let's see if I can get my money back. My eyes on the street well, tell me you I guess not. Mutual friend Oris a visit yet. All right, hold on. Um, data, quest, Do GI you, Blues. We got nothing to talk about. Really quick though, I want to see if I can actually get into free, into uh, New Vegas. Hold on, wait a minute. Where am I? Uh, yeah, I think it's this way. Welcome to the Strip. We're literally just on the outskirts of. Oh my. Really? Why does everyone always want to shoot me? Well, goodbye. Dude is done skis. Who else is shooting at me? Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, let's go ahead and put our gun away. Let's see if we can actually go inside. Doubt it, but we'll see. Oh! 
Let's shoot this guy first since he's literally right here. And then we'll shoot that guy. Don't worry, man. I saved you. I didn't even shoot, so somebody else killed him. Probably Boone. I doubt they're gonna have anything. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Uh, why wouldn't I want to get past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Oh, thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. So what's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. You used to be a courier? Uh, I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. <laughs> exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. So, Butcher, how did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. It wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. Ew. I didn't bother saying told you so. Gross. Cryer? Well, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Uh, that's absolutely horrible, man. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. So, you said escort? Like, um, armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. <laughs> no, escort just sounds better than man whore. Uh, so you got paid for sex is what you're telling me. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Nope, don't blame you. Uh, so you were good for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. That's cool. Uh, so let's talk about something else. All right. Bye. See ya. All right, so you said we gotta talk to these robots. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the game. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to get shot. Fuck, dude, I can't even do science either. Um, I don't have 2,000 caps. Credit check, what's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Oh, all right, bye. Please return when you have sufficient caps or passport. Alrighty then. You have entered the restricted area. So let's go. Watch out! Are we getting attacked again? Oh yeah, they killed that one guy, didn't they? All right, so I'm gonna go to Mick and Ralph's and uh, see if I can get a different kind of passport. The non-legit kind. 
Doubt it. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do the King's missions first. But we'll see. Freeside. Dude, I really like Freeside for some reason. It's very rough and everything, but it... I don't know. This is like Frontier Justice almost. Yeah, it's run by gangs and stuff like like the Kings, for example, but... If it can be bought, it can be found. Are we getting attacked again? Yeah. We're really hated here, aren't we? I'm pretty sure Boom just shot him in the face. Alright. Yeah, people absolutely hate us here for some reason. We didn't do anything to them. But for some reason they want to kill us. Alrighty, let's see here. There's Ralph's. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, hey, uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, fuck, dude, you're, like, way too far away. Hey! If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. Uh, do you offer any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. Ooh, I can do this. A resourceful fellow such as yourself must have something on on the side. All right. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, eh? Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. There we go. Ah, now I see uh, why you want to keep this on the low key. Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? I don't have that much money. Uh... Too steep for my blood, maybe later. No problem. If you need one later, just stop in. Alright, let me see if I can sell him some stuff. Uh, what do you have? Take a gander. What do you have? Let me see. Alright. Three. Oh, dude, I only need 50 caps. That shouldn't be too difficult. Here, let's sell all of that. All of that. All of that. There we go. Pleasure doing business. I'd like to you. buy your passport. 500 caps and it's yours. Here you go. Here you go. Fuck yes, bro. We got a freaking Thanks counterfeit. For in. We can go inside free uh New Vegas now. Hi. Oh my god, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and go. Hopefully these robots don't shoot me to death like they did that one guy. I can't believe I'm finally gonna get my own place. I feel like a teenager again, finally growing and moving out of my mom's house. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Come on, baby. Let me be cool enough. Are we getting attacked again? Uh, I guess not. I thought I heard somebody pull a freaking switchblade out or something. I swear, if Mick, or is it Ralph? I don't know, one or the other. It's pulling a fast one on me. I'm gonna go back to Mick and Ralph's and put a plasma round. Or, excuse me, a microfusion round right between the eyes. Hi, robot. Um, can we talk? What? Raider Badlands armor? Alright, cool. Hi, robot. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, here's the passport. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Yay! Excuse me, excuse me. Does this guy have anything on him? No, just Brahmin skin outfit. We're finally in New Vegas. Hell yeah. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Um, what are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome. Now hear this, the head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38, 
It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Um. All right, I'll I'll check it out. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting for you. All right, let's go. He said it's in here, the lucky thirty-eight. What's up, Victor? Can I go in? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Uh, thank you, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Uh, I'll head up by myself then. Come back soon now. All right, Boone. Love you, bro. You're gonna have to stay here. Hold on, follow me. Oh, I think... I think he's already on stay mode. Yeah, he's staying. Alright, let's go. Victor, let me up. Where to, partner? The only place I can. The penthouse. Because, you know, I got business to take care penthouse of. Penthouse floor. Hi. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Uh, who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, what can you tell me about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Tell me about the families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Uh, cool. Tell me about the casinos then. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Is it pronounced the Ultra Lux or Lux? I always said Lux. I don't know. Uh, tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Uh, sure, let's talk about Anything something else. you like, sugar? Uh, what can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? If you say so. Um... Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. I didn't realize robots could have strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside... My neuro-computational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman? What exactly uh, do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Gross. I really don't want to think about that. Then maybe you should pry into a lady's particulars, hmm? Yeah, you got a point there. Let's talk about something Anything else. Anything you like, sugar? Um, what is this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Okay, uh, what kind of robots are you anyways? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Doesn't sound, uh, amazing. What's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, 
But Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, later. You can't even say goodbye? You disappoint me, lady. Uh, well, hello there. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Uh, I mean, I've never seen anything like this place, to be honest. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the Strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. So why the VIP treatment? I'm literally just a courier. There's nothing special about me. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Okay, well then, if that's the case, let's get down to business. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. Uh... So what do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Um... Crap. Uh, alright, I'll accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I have some questions, actually. What did you wish to know? So, how do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. The chairman? Are your employees? Don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Uh... Why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Okay, makes sense. Uh, say I want to take a more diplomatic approach. What say you? If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Alright, any ideas how I could catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Alright, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Uh, well, tell me about him, as a matter of fact. Benny? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Oh. What use would he have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. 
A more than suitable replacement. Wait, what do you mean I'm a replacement? Um, so why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. All right, so why did you, uh, why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Damn. All right, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? I think we've are... Oh, okay, so what's the platinum chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. So the more I know about the chip, the easier it is, uh, I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Um, I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for them. Um... So if the chip is so valuable, why use only one courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them, dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. <laughs> I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Yeah, it always works out that way, doesn't it? Uh, why don't you send your robot uh, into the tops to arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. Got a point. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Element of surprise. I like your thinking. He's a smart man. I will give him that. Uh, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? I, uh, who are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, president, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. Damn. Um, how have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. So he's a ghoul, maybe? Uh, how did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated. 
and the money started to pour in. Ah, uh, makes sense. Uh, let's talk about something what? else. Looks like we only have one thing. Tell me about the factions uh, vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Well, I mean, if you're not gonna tell me about that, then I guess we're done here. Well enough. Be on your way. All right, thank you. Um, all right, it is this way. It was. What's up? Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to come you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait and sweet. Enjoy the dates, partner. They're plenty fancy. Yay, just like that we got the presidential suite. But first things first, let's go ahead and actually get food back. Four. And then we'll go check out the our, our new place. Now that uh, Boone can actually come with hey, us. Hey, you there. You scared the shit out of me. You. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Uh, no. Added Amb Ambassador Crocker. Uh, it's probably under data, huh? All right. And Cro uh, I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know uh, the new California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a uh, beneficent mission in the Mojave in general and the New Vegas in particular is in it is in addition a wealthy nation that well regards uh, persons who dedicate themselves uh, dedicate themselves to its national interests whether for reasons patriotic or material Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the New Vegas Strip. God bless uh, the New California Republic. Dennis Crocker, Ambassador Extraordinary, Extraordinary and Penipusher Department of State, New California Republic. Alright. Alright, come on, Boone. We got something to do. Uh, follow me. I've got your back. Come on, buddy. There we go. Let's check out our new place. And put some stuff away, actually. Where to, partner? Presidential seat, buddy. Hell yeah, we got a new place. Um, I guess for now we'll put everything here and uh, we'll put we'll uh, actually do uh, some uh, what is it called some adjusting or whatever at a later time um I'll put that away spade suit tribal that and that holy crap dude I just lost a lot of weight so this is where you upgrade uh, the place uh yeah I don't think I can afford anything <laughs> all right it's not too bad though I don't think but with that being said or done I'm actually pretty excited uh, about this new place. Actually, let's go ahead and look around really quick. It's all empty, pretty much. There's nothing much here. This is the kitchen, I think. Oh, no, this is, like, the guest bathrooms, basically. That's my room. Obviously, we just saw that. Uh, this looks like some sort of a game room. There's nothing much here, in all seriousness. This right here is the kitchen. And same concept, dude. It's, it's pretty much empty right now, dude. Uh, I do like this place a lot, as a matter of fact. This is always my player home. But it takes a while to get here. And luckily for us, we finally got it. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to have to call it a video right here, right now, guys. We're pretty much at that hour mark. I'm so happy we finally got here. In the next video, we're probably going to go over there and to the Topps Casino and find out what we're going to do with good old Benny. But 
with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel also if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.